Hi, I'm Artie Nemco. Every relationship has some measure of asymmetry. For example, one partner is kinder, more likely to look for the good in you and others, and to not exert excessive retribution in response to your mistakes. Or is thriftier, careful to spend cost-effectively and only rarely splurge. More responsible, prioritizing what's important. Lower maintenance, that is judicious in deciding when to let an upset roll off his or her back, when it's worth complaining and or asking for support or help. Addiction resistant, not prone to excess. More ethical, in most circumstances doing the just thing, even to their personal detriment. Well, what might you do when an asymmetry bothers you but you don't want to leave the relationship? Here are some options. Ignore. You might decide that your effort to reduce the asymmetry is not only not likely to work well enough, but would strain the relationship unduly. For example, let's say your partner is more laid back than you are, and so doesn't get as much done as you would wish. You could decide that this person is unlikely to make significant enough, enduring enough change, so you decide to accept it as one of the relationship's liabilities. Every relationship has them. You could decide to analyze causation. Before jumping to solutions, sometimes it's wise to look for what's causing the problem. For example, let's say your live-in partner is messy. It might be worth asking something like, why do you think you're comfortable with the house being messier than I am? Uh, the answer could vary widely. For example, appearance just isn't that important, or um, I don't like being told what to do, or my parents were neat freaks and tried to turn me into one. That could give rise to your improved understanding of the situation and maybe your partner's volunteering deciding to change. Or you could propose a trade. To take the previous example, I know we both want the relationship to improve, so what if we each take a baby step forward? You wish I were cleaner around the house and I wish you were less of a spender. So what do you think of our trying a little experiment? For the next day, I'll try to be as careful as you'd like me to be about keeping the house clean and you'll take a look at our credit card bill to see if there's a way to cut spending that you could live with. And the final, more uh, dramatic approach is to demand change. Sometimes people are motivated by a clear, direct message, even one accompanied by a threat. For example, I'm having a really hard time with your substance abuse. I've tried to be supportive, even joined you in it a bit, but that's not serving me, and I deeply believe not serving you. You've tried cutting down, but that hasn't worked. You're using as much or more than ever. I can't take it anymore. Either you stop now, or although I love you, I have to leave. Takeaway, sometimes. Relationship asymmetry is best addressed with a professional counselor or a trusted friend. But a number of my clients and friends, and okay, I, have found that the aforementioned self-help strategies work well enough. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. And in any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.